Welcome to Breckenridge, Colorado. We got the beautiful views here uh, and we are at the Global Goaltending Retreat. So about to get a warm up in, hit the ice for the first time this off season and mingle with a bunch of world-class goalie coaches. Working on the panda today. Lots of new <laughs> stuff for an old dog. <laughs> First ice session is done. Um, just went back to the lodge for a quick lunch. Heading back to the rink for some vision training. And then <clears throat> the second ice session of the day. And the first ice session was very interesting. We uh, kind of went over a new technique called the panda for post play. Kind of a overlap, RVH, being flat, not square. Yeah, just heading back back to the rink and um, yeah, hopping on the ice, doing vision training. What I want to do is I want to um, we're going to dive right into some things that I like to do, have our goalies do uh, as preparation. Okay, and they're things that you can access. The materials will cost you 20 bucks, and they're really fun and engaging. Right? <laughs> yeah, I like that. Red, blue, orange, and then take a second. Right? <laughs> oh, I thought I had blue. <laughs> I haven't seen it. Look, what was it? Blue, orange. Red, blue, green, blue. Good, good athletic stance. Keep it moving. If you lose one ball, continue with one ball. Goalies typically don't really pay much attention to their visual performance. They just, they've been dealt the cards they've got and that's it. Or maybe they say, okay, I'm 20, 20, I don't really need, like I have great vision where that's just one component. And so the brain and a series of eye muscles uh, are responsible for every eye movement we do. So we want fluid eye movement, you know, so doing just different tracking exercises. Uh, you can videotape yourself, see if there's any hitches. The same muscles are responsible for eyes converging. So as the puck comes toward us, our eyes should be turning inward. And if we're deficient in that, then it's harder to see the puck for that last portion of the shot, seeing it all the way in. The balancing ones when the eyes relax out, more for distance and peripheral awareness to see more of the rink. And so uh, programs like ours, the term I would use for this stuff is more vision therapy. Uh, it can be intertwined with sports vision training, but at its truest sense, um, that's what this is. You know, you, Likewise, use the term physical therapy, uh, corrective exercises to balance out and improve the functioning of muscles. So uh, there's a lot at play and there's a lot of improvement to be had for those who look into it. Then when we step aside, the other pillar uh, by which we can improve visual performance is more eye hand drills. Uh, so juggling, reaction ball, things like that. And what I always tell goalies is that stuff is wonderful. We do a lot of it. But just doing that, if you have an issue or an imbalance with those extraocular muscles, um, you're going to have to compensate for that uh, during those drills and you'll see improvement but uh, the most beneficial thing is if you can find a place uh, you know or work with us in terms of uh, you know really improving your ability to converge, diverge, change focus and eye movements. We're simulating kind of 
with like a power play scenario a little bit, okay? So over this station has the screens, okay? So we're probably gonna have one goaltender kind of standing right here. We're gonna have another goaltender standing right here kind of doubling up that screen, okay? How it's going to start, we're just gonna be in the middle, look to find that puck. Coach might move a little bit back and forth, so kind of like to find them like we did in the other drill. Pass is gonna go to the flank here, so again, we want you in that high stance, and then we want to see you get that rotation, shuffle over, and then there's gonna be a shot. It may be a one-timer, it may be a catch and release. Okay, so I want to see you do a couple different things here. For me, big thing, and I talked to a few of you guys that were skating on the line and I was standing here. When we're in that high stance, right, there's a, there's a tendency for our chin to go up, and now we're tracking the puck kind of down through the bottom of our eye, right? Harder to track a puck that way. So even though you're in your high stance, still try and have your chin tilted down a little bit towards that puck. So when that pass goes across, we're getting that rotation and we're still coming across over the puck and on the puck. Does that make sense? I hope you have good st image stabilization because my hands are super shaky. Just wrapping up day one at the global goaltending retreat. Jason's here as well. He's got his vlog camera out. And this old thing. This old he's thing. He's gonna fly the drone over all these beautiful mountains around here. Can I send it up? Beautiful women as well. Mountains, yeah, we're out here. Snapping some pictures, taking some content. Um, Jason, you got recognized from being on my videos today. <laughs> well, here it is. Take that thing. Oh, she gone. Let's see what it looks like. Maximum flight altitude reached. Oh, that's gonna look so good. The home point has been updated. Please check it that on looks the map. So, dope. so it's all the way somewhere in there. Yeah, it looks so good. But we are gonna be back for day two tomorrow and all kinds of stuff we gotta do on the ice off the ice so it was a lot, a lot of fun today a lot of learning good to uh network with all those goalies and goal league coaches as well so that's a wrap for day one <laughs>